The Ferrari 458 Italia has been with us for four years now, and despite the new challenge from McLaren and various flavours of ever fiercer Lamborghini Gallardo, it remains the undisputed star in its rarefied sector. Quite simply, this car tore up the rulebook when it was launched. Faster, sharper and wilder than any that had gone before, but still usable every single day. Now there's a new 458 called the Speciale. This car pushes the boundaries still further, but before we find out just how good it is, let's remind ourselves what makes the standard 458 so compelling in the first place. So here we are in a 2011 Ferrari 458 Italia. It's owned by the Sixth Gear Experience. It's done over 40,000 miles on tracks and airfields up and down the country. So what are these paying punters? been enjoying in this car. Well, the star of the show is the drivetrain. This 4.5 litre V8 is so, so sharp. You just look at the throttle and it puts on another 2,000 RPM. There was a time when Ferrari V8s felt a little flat, but no more. This thing is outrageously quick and it blends really forceful torque and it's almost feral top end. It's completely nuts. <laughs> and in this dual clutch gearbox, it finds the perfect partner. The shifts are fast, really, really fast. But what's special is the relationship between the paddle, hitting the paddle and the gear actually going home. It's that reaction which is just unbelievable. And on downshifts, the pull on the paddle seems to just orchestrate this perfect blip. Each pull, the blip is simultaneous. So cool, so quick. Of course, it doesn't just end at the drivetrain. This car has just the most adjustable chassis you can imagine. So much fun. Of course, there's good grip, not much body roll. It's got that typical Ferrari hyper responsive front end. But it's the way you can dance this car at the limit or near the limit that makes it feel really special. So, improving on this car, it's hard to imagine how they're going to do it actually. But we have got one other car lined up that might give us a few clues as to how they can make this thing even more fun and even more of a character. <laughs> sophisticated as a 458 but it's stripped there and it's got such focus so the 4.3 litre v8 has got 503 horsepower this car's light it's got a single clutch box which is just brutal but absolutely brilliant as well they really nailed it at the end of these gearboxes live and the car's just the 458 in a lot of ways but just getting in the car it feels more special it's, it's got this lovely stripped out interior it immediately makes you think that this thing is just about driving and the chassis itself is so different from the 458 we haven't got that incredibly responsive front end it's a bit slower steering a bit more understeer there's also more weight, more feel, less body roll and just a greater sense of, I don't know, just a sense of purpose with this car. It feels so special. Engine, just bang. And this single clutch gearbox, which we 
used to criticise quite a lot for the early single clutch boxes, but here the Ferrari really got it right and it's sort of got this brutality about it. But it really fits with the character of this car. <laughs> that the 458 has improved upon this car. It's much more stable on the brakes. <laughs> but I love this car's sense of purpose. It does feel just a bit more serious, a bit more grown up. What this car really shows is how on paper small changes can really, really improve a car beyond recognition. This thing is so much better than a standard 430, it's untrue. It's just so intense. And if the Speciale can pull the same trick and show the same level of improvement, it is going to be absolutely unreal. So this is it, the Speciale. In the transformation from Italia, no detail has been left untouched. The 4.5 litre V8 now produces 597 horsepower. The magnetic dampers react every millisecond. The Speciale uses new generation ceramic brakes. There's active aero and weight has been cut by 90 kilos. Then there's the new side slip angle control system that utilises the E-diff to help manage the balance of the car and reduce the intervention of traction control. It's an incredibly impressive technical exercise then, but how does it stack up in reality? So it's pretty clear that Ferrari have really gone to town on this car. They say it's not really a version of a 458 at all, but a whole new car. Now of course, that's nonsense really but the changes are dramatic and they have a tangible effect on the road. The steering response might be faster in this car, but it's so much more in tune with the chassis, which is stiffer but not harsh at all. There's less roll, a greater sense of control as well. The steering's got more weight too, which I much prefer. The F12 and even the standard 458 can feel really darty. But that's gone in this car. The fast steering rack works really, really well. More than anything, the Speciale feels more keyed into the road than a standard 458. There's more grip, yeah, but it's, it's the stability and it's the way everything works together that gives you more confidence. And this side slip control system, which sounds like some sort of black magic, but it is absolutely superb. On the road, you would never, ever turn it off, I don't think. If you're on top of the car, it doesn't seem to cut in at all. It just knows that you've got it under control. And if you do overcook things, it just subtly trims away power. <laughs> it really works with you. It's absolutely the best stability control system I've ever driven. The electronics on this car, they really are an electronic aid rather than a sticking plaster. Because the car has got such good balance. It really is superb. Well understeer. And it's just the creamiest, creamiest transition into oversteer. Although it feels a bit quicker, it 
again, it's not quite as much as you might expect. But that's hardly a criticism. This car is so good on the road. It's better than a 458 Italian. No question at all. We doubted it could be much better, but it really is. It's fantastic. On these brilliant roads, I just couldn't stop driving the 458 Speciale absolutely flat out. But on the journey back to Maranello, the Speciale proved that it's still a relatively supple and hassle-free car to drive on mundane journeys too. There's more road noise of course, but I think you could live with that, especially if you had an empty racetrack waiting for you at your destination. So that was on the road, and now we're on really in the Speciale's backyard. This is Fiorano. It's nearly dark, but we've just made it back in time to find out what this car's like on the circuit. All that incredible cohesiveness that we found on the road and balance should translate to something unreal around here. I'm going to leave the side slip control on, so I've got it in CT off mode. They say that's the quickest way around here now. It certainly didn't do any harm on the road, so... Yep, it just gives you the perfect amount of slip. Barely cuts in if you're on top of it. But then cuts in if you're clumsy like I was then. But what's it disguising? Let's find out. Let's turn everything off. See if it's disguising anything nasty at these speeds. On the road, it was just so much fun. And it's just the same out here. So we started this video with the 458 and the 430 Scuderia and we wondered quite where you go from there. This car has all of the 458's balance and madness and also the usability. It's got some of that aggression that the Scuderia had, that specialness. And the combination of the two is properly, properly mind-blowing. They have done the business with this car. It's, it's really, 